Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World. You'll have to forgive me a little, my voice isn't great today, but just like everyone else, I have a head cold and I still have to go to work, so here we are. So today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco J Flight SLX 7 174BH. This is a great little travel trailer if you're looking for something that's fairly lightweight, you just want a couple bunks in the back, this is certainly one to take a look at. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. So you'll see you have some good prep space right here, which I really like, especially in a smaller travel trailer. They were able to accomplish this by giving you a single bowl instead of double bowl sink. And then you have the two burner vertical cooktop rather than having the three burner cooktop here. So it really freed up a lot of extra space. Now, the other thing you can do here is you can also put a TV here. You'll see right in the back you have a 12 volt plug in, in case you have a 12 volt TV, which in case you don't know the reason you'd want that is so you can watch TV off your batteries. If you plan on doing some boondocking and don't have shore power, or if you have a regular TV and you have shore power, you can go ahead and plug it into your standard outlet there. You also have your power awning right over here to the side. We'll show you that when we go outside. One of these switches here is for your awning light, the other one is for your main interior lights. And then right over here you have your tank monitoring panel, that way you can monitor all your tanks as well as your battery and your water pump is on there too. We take a quick look up top, you'll see you do have some storage here, you can see right in there. And then over to the side you have your microwave, directly underneath is your hood with both a light and a fan. So we take a look underneath the countertop here, you will see you have the Dometic 3 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. Of course your fridge right here and then the drop down freezer compartment. The thing I do like about this is this one runs off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. It's not something that's too terribly common with 3 cubic foot so I like that you have all the extra options. Right down underneath here, you will see you have a shelf built in underneath the sink. Great storage space, probably some of the biggest in the kitchen. It's an excellent spot to put some of your pots and pans. Over to the side here, you have a pretty tall vertical space. So if you're looking for a spot to put a trash can, that is probably where I would put it. And then as we move over here, this is a pretty versatile space, folks. You have some options. You can do a couple different things. One, if you want extra pantry space, you can use this as pantry. Or if you want extra space for the kids' clothes, you can put those in here too. And then you'll also see you have additional storage right there underneath. So we take a look at the bathroom. You see the foot flush lever toilet here, plenty of legroom. Toilet paper holder is already installed there as well. And then over to the side is the tub shower. Folks, I like having a tub in a bunk model because if you have small kids and you still want to give them a bath, you have the capability to do that. Plus, because of the higher threshold of the wall on the tub itself, your curtain will stay in the tub, keeping more water in, not making a huge mess. And you also have a hand wand, making showering a little bit easier. Plus a skylight right up top here. So if you, uh, you know, need a little bit of additional headroom or you just need some light during the day, this will provide both. So we take a look in the back here, a couple quick things. One, let's take a look at the ceiling. This one does have the WineGuard Razor antenna, which is an upgraded antenna, low profile. All you have to do it, folks, is turn it to find the best signal. You don't have to raise it up or down, so it's one less thing you have to remember when you're putting camp away. You know, you don't have to remember, oh, put the, uh, the TV antenna down before it snaps off. So that's a cool feature. Right back here on the wall is your thermostat for your heat. This one does have a roof mounted AC, but the controls for that are on the AC itself. But if you need to control the heat, there's your thermostat there. <laughs> then of course, in the corner are your bunks themselves. Uh, cool thing about Jayco folks is they have reinforced bunks, 300 pound weight capacity for people sleeping on here. So that's pretty darn great, uh, especially for single bunks. Most of the time, they're somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 to 200. You also have a grab handle here, so if you need to get into the top, it gives you something to grab onto, makes life a little bit easier for you. And take a look at the beds themselves. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, they're nice and soft. Four inches thick, folks. That's a lot thicker than most of your bunk beds. You have the uh, LED lights on top and bottom here. And if you take a look at the bottom, a couple things. One, you have an emergency exit, so if you need to get out of the camper in a hurry, you can do that. You also have an electrical outlet down here, so if you need to plug in any electronics, it gives you a spot to do that. And if you lift up this bottom mattress, you'll also see there's a storage area right under here for any other items that you want to store. Moving up a little bit, 
you also have the dinette right over here. So this will be the main place you'll sit and hang out, you know, maybe have breakfast together or enjoy some coffee, something like that. This does drop down into a bed. If you need the additional sleeping space, uh, there's a bracket right here on the wall. You can just kind of lift the table up. This leg will then fold in. The table drops down along these rails here. Take the back cushions, put it on. That will create your sleeping space. Now, it's not huge, so an adult's probably not going to be able to sleep there. But if you have, you know, another child that's staying, that will create a sufficient bed. Also, there's an electrical outlet underneath, folks. So if you need to sit here and plug in like a tablet or laptop, you can do that too. Window here for natural light, LED light there for light at nighttime. Good storage going across the top. And right over here is your stereo. This will control the speakers in here. It's also Bluetooth capable. So that way, if you have a cell phone or tablet, you want to hook up to that, you are able to control that remotely. Right here is the AC unit I talked about. And as I mentioned, the controls are right here on it. And folks, this is all you need to be able to cool it down. 13.5 K BTU there. It'll make sure everything in here is nice and cool. If we take a look at the front, this obviously is the bedroom area. You have a privacy curtain, so that way you can close that off again, you know, to give you a little extra privacy from the kiddos. And then you have the uh, queen size bed right up here. Windows on both sides, so that way you can get some nice airflow coming through. The one side is an emergency exit. You also have a window right up front. That's pretty cool. Again, lets in some extra natural light. There is a rock guard on there. I'll show you that when we go outside. There's also a shade. I currently have it up, but you can pull that shade down, uh, you know, in case you don't want to go outside and close the rock guard down. Right up here, nice little storage area. You have the net, so quick and easy for any items you have to get to in a hurry. You also have storage going across the top here and a couple LED lights. You have one up here. You also have an additional one right down below, so that way you can light everything up at night. Take a quick look underneath here. You will see there is a hinge on the bed. So this does lift up. You can see this gives you access to that storage area outside. So you have a couple different points in which you can access that. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside of the J-Flight 174BH. Starting off right up front here, you have a 20 pound propane tank. Directly behind that, you have rails there for your battery. And coming up the front, you have your black diamond plating helping protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Speaking of rocks, as I mentioned inside, you also have this rock guard right here on your front window. That way if a rock does get thrown up, it's not going to smash your glass. But as I also mentioned, you can just lift this guy up. There's wing nuts here to lock it up, but that way it lets some natural light into the coach. So we take a look at the side here. This is the front storage compartment. As I showed you inside, there is access to this storage compartment from underneath the bed. But as you can see, that is a pretty good storage area, especially for the size of the camper. Right here is a power awning, folks. This is a great feature to have. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And it's a Solera awning, which comes with a couple extra cool features. One, you have speakers built into the heads of the awning itself. So that way when the awning is extended, the music is playing down on your campsite instead of blasting out at your neighbors. Uh, those speakers are controlled by that multimedia center unit that I had showed you inside. And again, that is Bluetooth capable. You also have an LED light right here that is sewn into the awning itself. So that way you can turn that on at night. It doesn't matter if the awning is rolled up or if it's fully extended, you have light here at night. And it is a very easily adjustable awning. It's literally just a pull. You can pull on one side or the other, both at the same time. That way you can control water runoff as well as control the pitch of the awning itself in just case you just want more shade. To get into the RV, you have one foldable step here, as well as the grab handle. That way you have some extra control when entering or exiting. Making our way back a little bit further, right here, a couple electrical outlets. Need to plug anything in outside, that's the place to do it. And you also have easy lube axles. If you pop this little cap off right here, there's a greaser there. Uh, that way you can pump some grease in there. It's a lot easier than constantly repack your bearings. There is still a process to do it, but again, it definitely is easier. If you come around to the back side, you'll see your bumper right back here. This does have your end caps, folks. Just pop these end caps right off. They pull right out. That way you can slide your sewer hose in there so it's not rolling around with everything up front. You also see mounted to that is your spare tire with a cover. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here. It's really easy to get to. And because of the cover, hopefully it'll be in good shape as well. And coming around to the off-door side here, a couple last quick things. You have your water heater right here. City water, if you have city water, that's where you'll hook it up at. Right underneath is your termination with both your uh, gray and black tank valves. 30 amp power cord will be right here. 
you know, when you pull it out, just snap that guy down, gives a little cleaner look there. And lastly, if we walk all the way up to the front here, right here is your fresh tank fill. So if you're doing some boondocking, you want to fill your fresh water tank, that'll be the place to do it. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco J-Flight SLX7 174BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.